Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing a Kalakas design that was requested by Cat of All Trades. Go check her out. Thank you so much for giving me this idea. Now the Kalakas is basically a translation for skeleton and they are used in the Mexican um, Day of the Dead festival or also known as Dia de los Muertos. Here I'm going to be taking some vibrant shiny striping polish and I'm going to be doing five different configurations for this because I basically want to have um, my colors uh, shine through. We're going to do a scratch off on top of this design. So um, as adults, we do have our forms of stress relief. Um, relieving activities and um, I'm not too sure if uh, anybody else has seen this but they are now offering adult um, coloring books and um, when I saw this I was like oh wow that's pretty funny considering you know when we were little I, I for one would love to um, have coloring books but um so I've also seen this kind of idea where it's kind of a coloring book in reverse. So we're going to do a scratch off today also. We're going to do, this is going to be like a jam packed um, technique and design here. We're going to do a Calacas design for the Dia de los Muertos um, festival. And on top of that, we're going to be doing a scratch off. So it's like an ASMR stress relieving um, video for you today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, cover this whole, um, vibrant color pattern here that we're doing, uh, with black and then we're going black acrylic and then we're going to scrape it off. And it's not the black acrylic that you think we're going to be putting. It's, um, black acrylic paint and um, this is going to allow us to scratch off our design. So this is definitely a design in reverse. We were not necessarily painting it on. We're going to be scratching it off. So here I'm continuing with my um, colors. This one here, I'm just going to divide this nail into six quadrants. And I'm going to be um, just randomly placing these colors uh, I'm not too sure, this is my first time doing this, so I'm not too sure how I want these color configurations to go. I did do two practice nails before, and um, I hardly ever do that. There's only been maybe a couple of other designs where I had to um, try it out on a practice nail. But um, I definitely had to do that for this. So I'm going to be um, now using those um, skills, <laughs> those newly found skills, to put on my short nails. So um, I thought that this would be super fun. Um, as much as I love long nails, um, I do love having my short nails as well. So I'm really glad that I'm taking my every other video to um for the viewers there that have short nails and don't you know can't have the long ones but want to have ideas um to do and this one i think is very fun i mean um i ended up uh sealing in my design with top coat you don't have to do that you can leave them um bare uh with the black acrylic and you can scratch off the you know any design you want throughout the week or until you know you scrap it and then you can start all over again but this was really fun so i hope that i'm able to convey this whole process to you guys um this is a short um somewhat short video <laughs> so um i'm surprised that i was able to fit uh this all in um, here I'm going to be doing uh, just vertical striping. I'm just going to take some random colors and um, just lay them down next to each other and see what happens. 
So let's get back to the Calacas design um, that um, you'll see uh, all year round, but specifically for the Mexican um, Day of the Dead, again, Dia de los Muertos. Um, it's the day of celebrating and remembering people that have passed. Um, and I love that idea. I mean, I, I'm not too, f like, fond of the whole mourning process. I mean, I've had a couple of loved ones that have passed, and, um, it's sad, you know, and I don't do well with sad. <laughs> um, I think at times where I try to avoid crying or whatever, I end up laughing and, you know, not out of disrespect, but just because, I mean, who wants to cry, you know? Like, um, that's just life and it happens. But I really love how um they celebrate their dead here and it's kind of like almost how they do it in the philippines um they celebrate um along with their birth date their death date um and i i thought that was a strange thing you know you, who wants to remember that but um they do get togethers and um, they just hang out and have fun and reminisce and it's like, oh wow, this is, you know, it's pretty nice to revisit sometimes, especially when like, um, you have cases where you just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you know, that stuff is probably not healthy, but to honor it and just, you know, go through the process and accept things that happen, um, It's pretty fun. And so, um, yeah, I was, I was not aware of this whole thing here. Like, uh, I would see these, uh, Kalakas designs everywhere and I'm just like, um, hmm, that's odd. But, <laughs> sadly enough, um, I think I was in a skater phase and um skeletons were everywhere so i thought that was kind of like i thought that was a thing at any rate um here i'm going to be taking the colors and just uh blocking them out on my thumbnail and then i thought okay hey why don't we try doing something um like a blended thing so i'm going to use my sponge and blend this out so i'm going to take my used sponge here <laughs> and I'm just patting this down and I looked at it I was like wow this is very pale and that's not the look that I'm going for so I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did before just um lay down the colors in this blocking type configuration and that's gonna be it you know it is what it is <laughs> again you're not gonna really see the whole a bit here well you're only gonna see what you scrape off so um, it's not gonna look so hodgepodgey after the nail polish is dried I'm applying my shiny by e nail couture you want something that's gonna lay down a little thick and super shiny um, in other words slick so that when you do put on the acrylic and then you scrape it off, it'll scrape off easy. So I'm taking um, some nail cleanser and um, lint-free wipes and I'm just cleaning up the edges here. So that's a good thing about regular nail polish. Um, you can just clean it up if you don't make it within the lines. And again, you have to wait for like a full cure on the regular nail polish because when you lay down the gel on top and you cure, um, if it's still wet, it'll start wrinkling underneath. So here I have the um, Art Deco or Deco Art um, Black Acrylic and um, it's very slick on these nails. So I am applying this a little thick, but it, I feel like it... The thinner the possible, the better, but you'll see like as thin as you go, the um, background will um, show through, so you have to thicken it up a little bit. 
but I do feel that, I mean, I didn't go super thick, but I feel like with no matter how thick I did get it, I was still able to, you know, let it dry and scrape off. So here you can see, I'm just going to show you how I, I scrape it off. And this is what you could be doing on your um, days that you're bored. Um, if you want to have this uh, stress-free scratch-off design, um, I'm just taking a uh, an orange stick, they call it. I never knew what this thing was called. Um, and I'm using it because it's soft enough to where you're not going to like hurt yourself. Um, but it's pointy enough to uh, make this black ac acrylic come off. And I'm just going to be drawing um, a skeleton. So this is the reverse design. So um, if you Google these images, um, you know, it's kind of like reversed because the skeleton is white and um, the lines that I'm scraping off here are colorful. So it is kind of coming out and the eyes are kind of um, blackened in. But uh, this kind of is, is similar, so it's not um, that far off. And it's so cool. It reminds me of Light Bright, if anybody knows what that is. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's very interesting how this is coming up, and it's very satisfying. It's like scratching off a lottery ticket, if anybody um, likes doing that. So after I had done these designs, I am putting a, a top coat. It's a thinner top coat by Jellish. And here I wanted to show my practice nails that I, that I did. Um, I didn't finish them up and I didn't top coat it. But here I'm just, you know, randomly scraping more of this off before I top coat it for you guys. Um... And that part there is why there's no color on there. That's my version of holding a, a practice nail. But uh, it still worked. And I'm just going to nail cleanse each of these nails. I mean, let me know which one you think um, came out better in terms of the, the vibrant colors. Um... I am not too sure. I think I think the striped ones though, the vertical and the horizontal stripes, I'm not too much of a fan of. And then depending on how you do the six pie shaped ones, I mean it's pretty bland. So I guess I would go with the random dots and um the blocking that I did on my thumb. I think those are the ones that came out pretty good so um, I'm putting some nearish cuticle oil this was a quick design and um, definitely just in time for the a day of the dead festival that is that started tonight ends November 2nd happy November and here is the end result my stress Relieving scratch off Kalakas design made for the Day of the Dead festival, aka Dia de los Muertos. Here's a close up of the short nails. I really love the thumbnail, but I I actually think I'm more privy to the um the larger surface nails like this because you can do so much more and this one was like random striping vertical and horizontal so it looks pretty cool and i think it works very well and here's the other one where i did the six pie on the longer nail and see like i said it's very boring i think with the colors being the same like that so um, I prefer breaking it up like I did in the previous nail. But there you have it. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And I think this was so fun. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks.
Bye.